What's up guys, it's Amy O'Neill with the Dallas Opera and I'm back with another synopsis. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Let's go! Today I'll be going over Rigoletto. Rigoletto is packed from the first note to the final chord with family drama, infidelity, deceptions, and an all-encompassing curse. Let's get our characters straight. Alright, there's Rigoletto, arguably the hero of our story, probably the anti-hero. The Duke, the arrogant womanizer. Count Monterone, who delivers the curse. Spadafucile, who is an unscrupulous assassin, and Madalena, Spadafucile's sister. The opera opens on the Duke's lively party, where he sings a song that literally translates to This one or that one, all girls are the same to me. Yikes. This Duke is a flirty flirt, okay? And like, some people are like, okay, and some people are like, Rigoletto, a sharp-witted gesture, amuses the people of the court by ruthlessly mocking the husbands and fathers of his many conquests. Enter Count Monterone, whose daughter was seduced by the Duke. He calls out the Duke's lechery, leading Rigoletto to mock him most viciously. Rigoletto is mocking the Count. He's like, boo-hoo, boo-hoo about it. So then Monterone's getting arrested. This is just happening. As he is arrested, he pronounces a curse on Rigoletto and the Duke. At first, Rigoletto's like, okay, whatever, bro. And then he realizes the gravity of the situation, and as a superstitious dude, he's pretty freaked out about it. On his way home, Rigoletto is stopped by an assassin, Spadafucile. Spadafucile's like, what's up, my man? You need somebody killed? I do that. Rigoletto's like, I'm good right now, dude, but I'll save your info for later. Enter Gilda. It's Gilda, not Gilda. Get it right. Gilda is Rigoletto's daughter hidden away from the world, doesn't know the identity of her father or his profession. Gilda gushes to her nurse about the cute boy she's met at church. It's the Duke. She doesn't know it's the Duke, but it's the Duke. And of course, since it's an opera, the Duke is nearby and he pops out and they sing a love duet. Meanwhile, some of the courtiers showed up and convinced Rigoletto to help them kidnap a mystery woman. He's clueless that he's just helped them abduct Gilda. End of Act 1. Dramatic enough? We are just getting started. Act Two opens with the Duke in distress over the abduction of Gilda. He actually comes across as a genuine guy. For now. Rigoletto storms into the palace looking for Gilda, who the courtiers are shocked to find out is actually his daughter and not his mistress. Gilda and Rigoletto are reunited and she tells him all about the Duke and her abduction. Count Monterone passes by on his way to his execution. Rigoletto, who's still freaked out about the curse, tells Monterone that he will be avenged. Gilda pleads with her father to show forgiveness to the Duke. On a dark and stormy night, Rigoletto and Gilda arrive at the home of Spadafucile and Madalena, who is a lady of the night. End of Act 2. Act 3? Inside the house, we hear what is quite possibly one of the most famous moments in opera of all time. London Immobile! I'm so sorry, I won't do that again. <laughs> Gilda listens with her father as the man she loves betrays her with another woman while he's singing about his love of many women. Rigoletto says, don't worry, darling, I'll handle this. Get out of here. Get out, get a disguise, go to Verona. Rigoletto knocks on the door to hire Spadafucile. Rigoletto wants Spadafucile to kill the Duke. Now remember, there's a storm outside and the Duke is scaled. He wants to stay the night. And Madalena's like, okay. And Spadafucile's like, okay. And Madalena pleads with her brother. Please don't kill the man I love, the Duke. And you know, Spadafucile, he's an honorable assassin. He's not going to kill Rigoletto, but he will kill the next person who knocks on the door at the house. Knock, knock. Who is there? It's Gilda. Spadafucile kills Gilda. Remember, remember, this is opera, so it's going to take 20 minutes for anyone to die. Rigoletto comes to collect the body bag from Spadafucile. Just before Rigoletto is about to toss the body bag into the river, he hears in the distance... Rigoletto is terrified. Who's in the bag? If homie's out there singing, he tears open the bag. It's Gilda, but she's alive for now. Gilda apologizes to her father, but she says she's happy to die for her love, the Duke. And then she dies, and Rigoletto cries out to the sky, The curse! The curse! So don't miss Rigoletto streaming for free on the Dallas Opera YouTube channel! Visit digital.dallasopera.org for more info and subscribe to the YouTube channel!